Hi everyone, this is Soft Brown. Today I want to share with you guys my work area. I have my scrapbooking room down in the basement. It is currently still not finished, but um, I'm not going to be able to get it finished, so I'm just going to have to work with it as is. I'm really appreciative of what I have because there's a lot of people that don't have any space to scrap in and I just love how much room that I have but in this video I just want to share with you guys my work area this is a desk that I got from Ikea it is the desk that has um, a glass top where this glass it can come up you're supposed to um, when you get it you're supposed to use the adhesive that comes with it to be able to hold down the glass but I didn't do that because I know at some point I might want to move it so I didn't want to have the glass to where I couldn't move it around but I love this desk because it gives me so much room I keep my plastic bags in here I have some 12 by 24 paper. That's how deep the desk is. This is the 12 by 24 paper. It's all the way to the back and it has this little bit space. So it's probably 24, 26, 28 inches deep because the paper is 12 by 24. So, and that's the paper is pushed all the way back to the back of the desk. And I keep my making memories toolkit here and on this side I keep my trimmers two of the trimmers that I use the most and I keep my clear blocks on this side keep them ready to go and under the desk you can see that it has legs to where I can adjust the height on these legs I can adjust them if I want the if I want it higher I can make it higher if I want the desk lower I can just pull out this knob right here and place it wherever I want it it's I think this is the arch architectural desk to where you can have it at a slant but I have both of the legs at the same height and under here I have a black storage box that's where I keep my scrap paper on this side of the desk I have another storage box and I keep my bind it all and my bind it all supplies in there and have my um, spray box and I have some gloves for when I want to spray on top of my desk I keep my heat gun and my glue gun and I have to tell you guys before when I first moved in I did not have any outlets I only had one outlet in this in the whole basement but since then I've gotten the owners to put in me some extra outlets so now I'm able to keep my heat gun and my glue gun um, plugged in at, at all times I have some hydrangea flowers here and my Xyron X I have some scrapbooking tape and some memento dewdrop inks. I have this tape runner right here. I love this tape runner. It is some great adhesive. I have not been able to find any refills for it, but I'm still searching. I have the name plaque that Taniqua from Teeny Tiny Crafts sent me. It sits there. My daughter loves it. Every time she comes down here, she always comments on it. And she's always trying to get me to make her one, but not. She's old enough so she can make her own. And I have some Glimmer Mist here. The Glimmer Mist, this was a Glimmer Mist that I was last using on my last project. So it's still there. I have my Scrap Tote here. And I keep my Scrap Tote filled and ready to go because... A lot of times I don't have anybody to scrap with so sometimes I go up to archivers and I use their 
rooms, you know, to scrap with other people. And over here, I have some little tray bins that I got from Joann's. And I keep my Stampin' Up! The Small Punches. I keep them inside there. And I keep my Glossy Accents, my Crackle Accents, and my Matte Accents. And I also have my Tack It Over and Over by Aileen's. I keep that there. Down here are some rain dots that I got on clearance a while back. Down here I keep my sanding strips and my paper distresser in there. And on this side I keep my color box chalk ink. And over there I keep my Mod Podge and my Zyron refills. And I have my Prima leaves. And I also have one of my tool caddies. I have two of them. I spray painted mine black. And in my this this is where I started collecting Copic markers. I have quite a collection now. I'm not going to purchase any more until after the new year. So this is where I'm storing them now. They really won't be able to all fit in here so I'm gonna have to find another solution for those but this is my work desk and I also have this little bar stool if I want to sit and scrap a little but most of the time I stand up and scrap but besides this scrap area right here I also have this area right here I have two expedited bookshelves that I have lying on their sides to make a work space and it's where my Imagine sits and there's my other tool caddy I keep it on this side and this basket right here this is a shopping basket I found this shopping basket at Hobby Lobby and I was excited to get it. I get all of the new products that I buy. I put them in this basket so that when I do go to create a project, I can go through this basket and look for some of the new things that I bought and used. I have some of the keys in here. And I have some of the greeting farm stamps. And I have all kind of stuff in here. But this is my new basket that when I buy new things, I put them here. And I go through this basket when I want to create some things. I also have another basket over here that I put some things in. And some things that I haven't found at home for yet. Here is the basket where I keep my dollar stamps that I get. These are the dollar stamps that you get from Michael's and from Joann's. I put them there. But that is my second work space. And actually it's a lot of space because I have from here all the way down to here. And I love that I have so much room. And on here, I store, this is where I have two Stampin' Up! ink caddies. Alright you guys, I just wanted to share with you my workspace. I love this desk. If you guys have a lot of room in your scrap areas and you're looking for a nice size desk, check out Ikea because they have some nice desks. Oh, and also, one, one more thing that complements my work area are my three Making Memories Embellishment Centers. I have three of them. Sorry about the glare. That's one of my lights. And this one I have, well, in all three of them, up top, I have my Glimmer Mist. And over here, this one is mainly my Tim Holtz products. 
And then the middle one, there's a lot of Tim Holtz products in this one as well. And I started storing some of my stamps out where I can see them. And while I've showed you a little bit, this is my Cricut collection. Like I've told you guys, I am a Cricut fan. I love my Cricut. And that's Lil Mama. These are all of my Cricut cartridges. I think I have probably about 140 cartridges. And that's Big Mama. I have here is where I store my mat stacks but I'm going to show you guys my paper collection in another video so that's it you guys that's my work area alright you guys thanks for watching bye